Hi, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. Ready for a Christmas break? Maybe a vacation? Packing your bag? Well, unpack it. In horror, we love to have our traumas played out on screen. It feels kind of cathartic, but today we're gonna let horror do something else. We're gonna let it make us grateful. It's gonna make us thankful that we're at home, that we don't have any plans, and we're in our own beds, safe, and sound. Because who needs a holiday, especially when it's terrifying? The idea is somehow to do some reverse psychology to make us grateful for doing nothing. <laughs> and it will make you never want to take the risk of staying somewhere else. Today we're talking about hotels, we're talking about motels, and we're talking about Airbnb horror. I've broken them into these three categories, so let's get into it. Starting with Airbnb horror and starting with the freshest pick on this list. If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm about to say. Barbarian. <laughs> Barbarian is a surprising horror starring Georgina Campbell, Bill Skarsgård and Justin Long. The film follows Tess who is in town for a job interview but approaching her Airbnb to check in, she realizes someone's already inside and it appears to be double booked. Now she has to choose to find another hotel or to stay the night, a decision that will change her life forever. But there are more things to be afraid of inside this property than just the stranger in the next room. If you've seen this one, you know it's full of surprises, but one thing, it instills the fear of staying in a unfamiliar territory. The fact that they tied Airbnbs into this, it is enough to put people off of this kind of accommodation for the rest of their lives. Next, we have The Rental. It's an interesting directorial debut from Dave Franco, starring his wife, Alison Brie and Dan Stevens. The plot follows two couples that rent a vacation home for a weekend away. But upon arrival, they feel things are off with the property and secrets within the group start coming to light. It's a pretty straightforward drama horror but it's well worth its place on this list, taking advantage of the crossover mystery between the property and the group dynamics. If you're looking for something a little bit more funky, Superhost is an unhinged horror thriller about traveler vloggers Teddy and Claire who travel between Airbnbs, sharing their rental experiences with their audience. But everything changes when they meet their new Superhost, Rebecca, who at first seems a little offbeat and kooky. They decide to make her the focus of their content, but could Rebecca's interesting demeanor be a warning sign for something more sinister? I love the tagline for this one. Don't forget to like and survive. I need to start using that. Last in this category, we have Head Count. In this film, we follow two brothers who reunite in Joshua Tree, but it's not long before they befriend a group staying in a rental house in the area. Heading back to their house, they learn that the isolated property has more than what they bargained for, including a sinister spirit that they accidentally awaken. The isolated landscape really adds to the tension as this film paints even the coolest of accommodations into horror. Next we have the motel category and I'm sure you know what is next. You can't mention accommodation horror without Hitchcock. This horror mystery classic follows a secretary on the run after embezzling a large sum of money, but she takes a turn into a more dangerous fate when she checks into a remote motel run by a man who isn't as innocent as he appears. Even after all these years, this film is still effective, especially if you're traveling alone. This next one is kind of the super host of this motel category uh, because it's kooky as hell. This comedy horror thriller is a cult favorite that's known for being a bit of a parody of slasher movies. But fun fact, it wasn't originally intended to be. The original screenplay was a lot darker with some intense subject matter. I dare you to look that up. I am not repeating it. But what we got is a story about farmers who kidnap unsuspecting travelers for their sinister plans to keep their business afloat, wink, wink. I Believe Bug is super underrated. Based on the 1996 play of the same name, the film plays on a very different terror compared to the rest of this list. Instead of being the environment that's causing the horror, it's the inner demons in this one. The drama horror thriller is about two people who board themselves up in a motel room, believing they are being infested by bugs. It's a story of addiction and mental health, and it's a really sad and uncomfortable film. Who else thinks 
about vacancy every time they see a neon sign. This horror thriller starring Kate Beckinsale and Luke Wilson is the story of a married couple who become stranded at a strange, isolated motel. Something just feels off and the room is mega uncomfortable, but their worst fears are confirmed when they find a hidden camera in their room. So you can't stay in an Airbnb. I wouldn't recommend a motel. Hotels are next. And I do have a little bit of a rule breaker for this one because I had to go somewhere. Don't worry, I know you're all thinking about the classic hotel horror movie. But first we're gonna go a little bit under budget. Sometimes you can't afford to stay at a hotel so you might stay at a hostel. Okay, hostel isn't a hotel, but it's the perfect anti-vacay film. We had to make an exception. This Eli Roth trademark is known for its torture porn. It follows three American backpackers who travel through Europe and are told about a magical hostel in Slovakia and head straight into the building to check in. But the fantasy soon turns into a complete nightmare full of blood and carnage. We got Hitchcock and of course now we have Kubrick. Classic horror loves a good vacation and this one being a working holiday as a family moves into a large hotel as the off-season caretakers. But the opportunity to live in a beautiful giant property for the winter turns out to have its catches as the father, Jack, is tempted by ghosts of the hotel's past. Supernatural horror movie The Innkeepers takes aim at employees of an inn with a haunted history. Ty West wrote, directed, and edited the film, which is about two employees who attempt to document the alleged supernatural activity at an inn before it closes. So if you're checking into some accommodation with history, beware because some guests never check out. Hell House LLC isn't my first thought when I think of haunted hotels, but this 2015 found footage horror is located inside an abandoned hotel in a small town in the Rockland County. We learn about a small company that has set up a local haunt, but things soon turn dangerous on opening night. Now a documentary crew look back on what happened, breaking into the hotel to find the truth. Psychological horror thriller 1408 is based on Stephen King's short story of the same name. The movie stars John Cusack and Samuel L. Jackson as we follow an author who investigates haunted houses, but checking into his next project, room 1408 of the Dolphin Hotel in New York, May test everything he knows. Inside the room, he experiences bizarre events that blur the lines of reality. A good double viewing with 1408 is The Night, another psychological horror, but this one is about a couple who experience the night from hell with no escape. After becoming lost late at night, a couple and their one-year-old daughter resort to sleeping off their confusion at a hotel. From Jump, everything is off about this property and things just keep getting worse as soon as they find their room. It's one of those films that make you feel frustrated because nothing makes sense and you can't tell what is from the lack of sleep and what is actual supernatural activity. It's a solid psychological waking nightmare. So we have a couple of choices now. You do a staycation or you sleep with the lights on. <laughs> I'm sorry for providing the nightmares but I just wanted to do a fun themed list. If you like theme lists, let me know. I don't do them too often, but I thought it might be nice coming out of October just to do some recaps. And I've always wanted to do a video about Airbnb horror. Um, let me know your favorite vacation horrors, hotel, motels, Airbnbs, any of those I missed. I didn't include backpacking, which is a whole other topic, camping. The possibilities are endless. Basically, there's nowhere safe on this earth. But I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you do like my videos, make sure to give them a thumbs up and share them with a friend. That really helps me out. And I'll talk Talk to you all very soon. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye friends. Stay very safe. <laughs>